episode of So Yeah Cards. It's brought to you by Legend of the Boy. All young boys dream of having superpowers and being able to do great and wondrous things. Legend of the Boy is a science fiction tale that combines the notions of power, might, right, and destiny. It is the tale of a boy, a stranger to this world, who not only has to save the world, but must destroy it in order to move the human race forward. This is not a story for children. Legend of the Boy, an ebook available exclusively at Amazon.com. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of So Yeah Cards. Today I'll be sharing with you two greeting cards that I just picked up for the heck of it, and we'll see whether or not I've made some good choices. Uh, I think last time I looked at some birthday cards, and so I tried it, decided to try something a little different. I'm going to be looking at some get well cards, and um, the reason why I got the idea is because it's that time of the year people are getting sick, so you might have to send someone a get well soon card. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, again, as I mentioned last time, envelopes are important to me. These are just basic plain white envelopes. And if you remember from last time, I said I liked colored envelopes, especially when I get them in the mail. But I think if you're sending someone a Get Well Soon card, uh, there's nothing wrong with just a plain white envelope. Because the mood may be a bit solemn. Um, you don't want to be overly excited about telling them to get well soon, but then you don't want to be kind of down in the dumps either. So this is neutral. Good choice. The first one that we're going to look at, and I hope you can see it. Uh, let's see here. Let me adjust my camera a little. All right. You see that little fella? It says, not feeling so good. And then you open it up. Just one teeny weeny little line of text. It says, get better quick. Okay? I don't love this card. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I do have some problems with it. I kind of like the color scheme. I think it's soothing. It's nice that it's not bright, you know, and just like, wow, but it's also not black or gray. So, you know, you know, it's not depressing. The little, the little teddy bear here, um, this is kind of a, 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 it's touchy. You couldn't, I don't think, I don't think you could give this card to a guy. Um, I think you could give it to a woman. I think most women would, would be, you know, <laughs> accepting of this. But not all women. Some women do not like teddy bears. If you give them a card with a teddy bear on it, they're going to look at you like, what's the matter with you? Do you really want me to get better? I happen to be one of those women who likes teddy bears. So I wouldn't have a problem if someone gave me this card. But, yeah, it's tricky. But my biggest issue with it is this one little line of text that says, Get better quick, okay, question mark. Now, I understand there's, you know, different levels and degrees of illness. Maybe you don't know if the person is going to get well soon or if it's going to take a while or if they're going to get better at all. But I think we should show a little bit more confidence if we're going to send someone a get better or get well soon card. I think they should drop the question mark and just make it a period. Let's, let's have some faith. Let's say, you know what, friend? Get better quick. That's right. You know? So, again, don't love it. Don't hate it. If someone gave me this, I would be okay with it. But knowing my mind, I would be like, what's up with the question mark? You don't think I'm going to get better? Uh, again, this one is from the Tender Thoughts line. Regular price, $225. Um, normally, I would get these cards from the dollar store. But this one I actually got from the mall, from some little kiosk. Um, I think I paid a dollar twenty-five for it, so that's just you know twenty-five cents more than you would get from the dollar store because it's the line that they carry. But you can get it in other places. So let's see, what do we have next? All right, let's look at this one. It says, "As you recover," and then you open up and look. There's a nice little message in this one. It says. May the time pass as quickly and comfortably as possible until you're fully yourself and ready to enjoy life again. Get well soon. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and show you that there's no question mark on here. So, <laughs> before you jump to the conclusion on which one of these I like more, this one again I like but I don't love. Um, the image I think is really good. Um, I think you could give this card to a man or a woman. It has kind of like a zen quality to it. It's a little bit um, non-offending. So, I think that that's a good choice. Um, of course, you know, there are some cynical people out there who will be like, you gave me a car with rocks on it. <laughs> but most people aren't going to think that. Most people are going to look at this and feel that it's calming and soothing and uplifting. I really do like the message. You know, you're in recovery. So, obviously, the person who's sending you this card is saying, you know what, you're going to get well. Uh, it may take a while, but... and it's kind of just gives you some inspiration and uh, you know their wishes for you so I like that um, I would be happy if someone gave me this card the only problem that I kind of have with it I don't know maybe maybe I'm being a little nitpicky here but because of the wording it says until you're fully yourself and ready to enjoy life again again <laughs> You want your friends or family or whoever it is you're giving this um, card to, but what if their recovery, they don't fully become themselves again? Yeah. But you know what? You can't write a perfect greeting card. I mean, that's not true. I think I've seen a few perfect greeting cards, but this isn't one of them. But it's pretty high up there. If I had to choose between this one and this one, I would choose this one first. Because I think it's more universally acceptable. Again, this one is Tender Thoughts, regular price $225. You can probably find something like this at the dollar store. Um, again, I don't I know for a fact Target doesn't carry them. I mean, Walgreens might have them. Um, maybe you have a little kiosk in your mall that carries them. So there you go. Those are my Get Well Soon uh, cards that I chose to kind of test out. Um, I didn't have anything in glitter today, so yay! <laughs> and anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you guys are interested in, you know, participating in this. I would love for you guys to, you know, tell me what you thought about this episode. Um, was there anything, you know, I thought I could have, you know, said more about the cards or not? Just leave your two cents in the comments below because I'd love to hear it. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and you can share with me pictures of greeting cards that you've received or bought or maybe something that just catches your eye. You can even give me, you know, a line, a silly line that you saw on a greeting card. You can use the hashtag, so yeah, cards, and you'll have a chance to be featured in my next episode. Uh, next Saturday, let's see, is it next? Yeah, next Saturday I'll be um, posting a toy box movie reviews so don't forget to come back and see that let's see oh on Monday I'll be posting pop quiz pressure and I I think I've picked out a good um, quiz this time around that will be more engaging for other people and I'm trying a new format so please come back for that and remember, if you're interested in guest hosting or sponsoring a Toy Box webisode, you can visit etoythomas.com to learn more about that. So, until next time, this is Toy Thomas saying, I believe that authors should be just as important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya!